coconut cloud, without any dough, that's how we're going to roll it with the filling, when I do it at home everything asks me for the recipe, so I'll teach you how to do it. I'll start by adding a 390 gram can of condensed milk in a pot. I will also add 4 tablespoons of cornstarch, or also known in some countries as cornstarch. Now I will add 1 cup of milk, a cup of cream, 1 tablespoon vanilla extract, and I will mix constantly until it gets a little thick. Guys this cloud of coconut that we are doing, it is very easy to make and they look very tasty, I am sure everyone will like the result. And this is the consistency we are looking for, neither too thick nor too watery. In a rectangular container, measuring 20 centimeters by 30 and 5 high, I will add grated coconut until completely covering the bottom. Now I am going to add on top all the mixture that I have prepared on the stove, spreading it very well throughout the mold, but remembering that we must add it hot. At this moment I would like to know, from which country or city you look at us, to send you a special greeting in the next recipe. The greeting in today's recipe is for Charlene Rose from Philippines, also for Megan Griffiths from South Africa, and Liz from Australia. Thank you for always seeing and enjoying our recipes. Then, I'll take it to the fridge for 20 minutes, but while I'm in the fridge, in a bowl I'm going to add 120 milliliters of Chantilly cream, and with the electric mixer, I'm going to beat very well until it doubles in size. After a few minutes beating, it has already multiplied its size, and so we should stay. After 20 minutes in the fridge, I will add all the Chantilly cream on top, and with a spoon I will spread it well. If you have come this far seeing today's recipe, that means that you are liking this recipe, so leave us here below the following message, I love the coconut, to send you a very special greeting. And already our coconut cloud is ready, we just have to cut it in cross, in this way as I show you, and roll it in the following way to serve it and enjoy, but I would like you to rate this recipe, from 0 to 10, to know if you liked the result. Thank you for watching this recipe until the end, I hope you liked the result. Tell me if it's the first time you see one of my recipes. And if so, don't forget to subscribe on YouTube as Recipes Oni and activate the bell so you can always receive our recipes. A hug and see you in the next recipe.